I'd like to introduce someone again who's very familiar to this audience. Uh, he is the senator who represents District 28 from the uh, state of Arizona. He is an attorney. He started his career as an attorney in the Maricopa County Attorney's Office and has practiced as an attorney uh, all, all of uh, this life. He is also now chairman of the Judiciary Committee. Please welcome Senator Adam Driggs. Thank you, it's great to be here with you today. I'm so glad that each of you took the time out of your day and schedule to, to support this great cause. It's great to have this event here in Phoenix. We're discussing troubling events that have occurred in the past and are occur occurring today, half a world away from us. Um, as we look at the displays here, and I hope after this event that, that you will come forward and look into the eyes of some of these pictures and see the faces of these men, women, and yes, children that have been killed by an oppressive regime in Iran. Well, many of us gathered here today personally know people who have been directly affected by Iran's regime. Many in this room don't have any personal contact, but you're concerned about the evil and the, the egregious acts that have taken place in that region, and also because your concern for the many innocent lives that have been impacted by those actions. But why does it matter here in Arizona? The answer is obvious. Because what happens in the world affects us. We cannot be blind or complacent in the struggle for freedom around the world. The recent tragic loss of Arizona's own Kayla Mueller is an obvious demonstration, and we mourn for her family and her community. Iran is the epicenter of terrorism and Islamic fundamentalism. It predates Al-Qaeda, ISIS, and all Islamic fundamental groups that are currently threatening our national security. Iran's regime is now seeking to develop a nuclear weapon, which would change the whole equation in this region and our global security. Iran is now being led, and has been led for the last year and a half, by Hassan Rouhani, who, if you Google him, you will read many media portrayals that he is a moderate leader. In the year and a half since he has been leading, more than 1,250 uh, Iranian citizens have been killed, many of them publicly. We need to expand our knowledge and our vision so that we could properly engage in not only the problems in Iran and the Middle East, but the solutions. The enemy is, is Islamic fundamentalism. It is not the people in Iran. I personally have friends in Iran today who want nothing more than freedom. We are here with a group, and we're being, this group is being led, and they represent democracy, hope, freedom, a pluralistic government, freedom of religion, freedom of expression, dignity and respect for women, and for freedom for all the people of Iran. Many in the United States don't even know about this group because our attention has been captured by the horrendous things that we see on TV uh, with the Islamic fundamentalists. We also are greatly concerned for the threat that a nuclear Iran possesses for all of us. We are concerned because the Obama administration has failed to lead in this area. So what can we do? This is not the job for one person.
but, a large, but the large group of people, all of you included, who have gathered today make a difference because we are generating the media attention that, that has failed to cover these things. We are educating the world about these issues across Arizona, across the United States, and across the world. This event will be seen across the globe, and people are watching. They will see that there is an organized movement to replace a religious theocracy in Iran with a government that is freely elected, a government that guarantees basic human rights to her people, and I believe a government that would be a catalyst for change in the entire region. I've been privileged to meet many Iranians who have fled their homeland to come to the United States in search of freedom. May we use our freedom to help them find freedom at home. Thank you.